Popolo di Mega Nerd, bentornati, siamo sempre qui a Etna Comics e quest'oggi abbiamo un ospite veramente d'eccezione, il grande Rick Leonardi. Hi Rick. Buongiorno. Benvenuto. Welcome, welcome in Italy, it's your first time in Italy. Uh, uh, no, in fact I've been here before. Ah, do you have been? Sì. Um, I was a student in, here in 1976. Mm? And I visited again in 2015, I think. But no, it's the first time in Sicily since 1976. Okay. Uh, your origin is Italian. Ah, uh, sì. Si. Leonardi. Sì. Si. <laughs> Ancora famiglia vicino a Giare. Ah, sì? Si? Sì. Si. Cugino. Ah. Cugino secondo grado. Ah, so we can talk in Italian no, or in Sicilian. <laughs> Okay, okay. But it's your first time in a Comic Con yes. here in Italy. Yes, yeah, no, this is amazing. This, this, this building and the people have been amazing. It's really, really a lot of fun. What do you think of the Italian fans? Uh, Lots of enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really, it's a young crowd. I like seeing, you know, ragazzi. Mm -hmm. in, in the United States, it's, it tends to be a little older. You know, old collectors, people yeah. have been around for a long time. Now we have you know, young kids coming in. It's a lot. Of, it's just great to see. So, you are an amazing artist. Uh, oh, grazie, grazie, grazie. <laughs> uh, you do a, a lot of comics, but uh, the, the most famous, obviously, is Spider Man 2099. Now, yeah, absolutely. Thanks to the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, na now for the movie, but the movie. in the 90s, uh, uh, Spider-Man 2099 uh, was one of the most important uh, series uh, of Marvel. The, the born uh, of this series, uh, do you remember the time when Marvel asked you to draw this series, uh, how it became uh, this adventure? Um, well, Marvel in the 1980s, was reluctant to do uh, stories set in the future, mm -hmm. especially if the story involved someone who was identified as uh, a descendant mm -hmm. of a present day hero. So if Miguel O'Hara turned out to be Peter Parker's grandson, yeah. well, you knew that Peter Parker didn't have <laughs> a wife yet or hadn't had children yet. So if he was fighting the Green Goblin today, you knew not to be too worried. Mm -hmm. He was going to survive, obviously, because he's going to have a grandson. So for that reason, for continuity reasons, Marvel didn't want to do stories set in the future. But gradually, I think they overcome that reluctance, and that's how we so got 2099. We can talk about the costume of Spider-Man 2099, say, say. that it's so beautiful. Uh, it's a quite different of, of you know, the classic suite, but uh, it's uh, similar for uh, See, some the, 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 the mask, the mask, mask the mask is in inverso del originale. Mm -hmm. um, the, the costume was uh, something that Miguel O'Hara mm -hmm. had worn to a Dia de los Muertos festival in Mexico. Yeah. And the Dia de los Muertos is all about skulls. Mm -hmm. So you get the skull, you get the, and I had obviously worked on the black costume. So you get spider legs and um, I put the fins on the arms just to break up the silhouette a little bit. What was the reaction of Marvel when you uh, show the suite of Spider-Man? Um, they The, I think they liked it obviously because they didn't there were no changes that was it, it was <laughs> boom that's it we're gonna do that yeah. okay so. uh, Spider-Man 2099 is now in a Spider-Verse movie True. but is a, a quite different <laughs> of well, yours yeah it's it they made some interesting changes uh, the the thing that you'll notice in the movie right away is that there's stuff on the back the the one defect the one mistake that I made <laughs> in the original costume was not to put anything on the back. Um, yeah, so, and it's more big. <laughs> yeah, so every time, you, every time you draw them, it has to be like this. So they put stuff on the back, so now you know it's, it's him from the back as well. Um, 
But yeah, no, the costume, the costume looks really good. I'm, the blades, the arm blade, yeah. that's, that's a very interesting feature. I don't know whether they work, whether they're weapons, but we'll see in the movie. I haven't seen the movie yet. I have not seen the movie yet. Don't spoil it for me. <laughs> do, you, um, uh, do you involved in this movie? Uh, sí. Yeah. Sí. Ah. Un poquito, sí. Okay. Um, the, uh, so the first movie was the spider people come to Brooklyn yeah. to where Miles Morales lives. This movie, ciao. This movie, um, Miles Morales goes to six uh, spider verses, one of which is, is the world of 2099. So they want each of those worlds to look a little different. And their idea was to make each world look like the world that was in the comic book. Quindi, they talked to me about, <laughs> they talked to me about 2099, what 2099 looked like. So, okay. So, so you approved this version of uh, Miguel Oaga? I, I drew them a lot of pictures so, ah, okay. so they could see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. After Spider Man 2099, okay. you draw Batman Beyond. True. True, that's true. Yeah, uh, when when DC approached me to do Batman Beyond, I was like, sure, it's good. Yeah, Batman Beyond. <laughs> so, so I Googled Batman Beyond, and the, the first image that came up was Spider Man 2099 and Batman Beyond. It's the best of Do you ever think uh, of a crossover? between uh, Batman uh, Beyond uh, and Spider-Man 2099. Uh, obviously, many people have been thinking about this already. It would be great, in effect, it would be beautiful. Do you think in this time uh, it's impossible a crossover between Marvel and DC? Uh, I Non so, in, interessante domanda. Um, the, 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 cultures, the cultures of the two companies are really diverse. DC's gone to California, mm -hmm. you know, Marvel's Disney now. Disney's very protective of their franchises, mm -hmm. so probably not. I would bet not. Yeah. 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 Peccato. Uh, peccato. <laughs> È un vero, vero peccato. Vero. So, so, what's your next project in the comic uh, industry? Um, I have a graphic novel. Uh, it's Centosanta uh, Pagini. I don't have a, a publisher at the moment. So. Okay. <laughs> If you want, we can publish. I know. With, with I know. Megan <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's military. It's got it's U.S. It's United States Navy. Mm -hmm. But there's a superhero in it. Ah, okay. Interessante. Noi ringraziamo Mr. Licchionardi, thank you so much uh, e niente, speriamo niente. di vederti in Italia ancora, ancora, ancora uh, nei prossimi sì, anni. Sì, buon tiri. Ok, <laughs> thanks a lot. Right. Bye.